the first time I went to Nicaragua, um, I couldn't not see, like I was immediately drawn to the, the health of the animals, emaciated animals, wounded animals, stray animals, abandoned animals, um, the, the lack of welfare that exists in this country is, um, it's a bit overwhelming for me being the animal lover and the empath that I am. There is so little in this country as far as support for these animals, not only with the charities that support them, but also with the government. The government has very basic laws and they are not enforced. And so after visiting Nicaragua for a few years, um, my husband and I decided to purchase a home. Um, we bought a, a little casita, we call it. Um, the first day that we went on the property to check the house out, there was actually a dog on the property. Um, very skinny. Um, I'd actually seen him in the road several times. And, and I remember saying to myself, if I could do something for the animals here, like I literally wanted to start with this dog. I realized after um, rescuing Flacco that I could make a huge difference in the life of animals. Um, with so little money. Right after we purchased our house, my kids um, had had their first experience in Nicaragua. We all seemed to feel the same way about the animals that we saw just roaming on the side of the road, stray dogs, um, horses, goats, everything you could imagine. Um, we came back here and with the help of my daughter's friends, we had a uh, lemonade stand. The lemonade stand raised around $200 and we asked our kids what they wanted to do and they wanted to then return to Nicaragua and use the money to help animal welfare down there. After the first clinic that we had in 2018, um, it was almost like uh, I got a little a touch of like an addiction. Like I, the, the feeling that I felt after accomplishing 32 surgeries and making an impact, an incredible impact from what I could see. Um, it sort of built this uh, energy, this little addiction where I was like, okay, if I could do this, what could I do if I continued doing this? On ground partnerships are the way that Nika Love uh, is able to do what we do. Um, we have an animal welfare organization and a veterinarian partner as well. Our animal welfare partner is Fundancian Adan. Uh, the founder is Elisa Quiroz. And our veterinarian partner is AproVet founder Lester Tapia. My partnership with Fundancian Adan grew exponentially after that clinic. I started volunteering for her. I started accompanying her on rescues. I started craving essentially um and then community members actually started asking if and when i was going to host another uh, event i wasn't even a charity at that point um, so the idea started growing and with the nudge of some friends realized i could do something with this idea and so i asked elisa to partner with me again on another bay neuter wellness clinic and it grew it grew to two, three, five, we're at even more than that a year at this point. Nika Love is a small grassroots organization. Our board consists of five people. Um, I have an admin person that helps uh, in, in my office. My husband helps me. Other than that, we work through partnerships in Nicaragua that allow us to do what we do. Our current operating budget is $100,000 a year. Um, that covers our employees and all the operation costs for, our sh to, for running our shelter. Um, we really are trying to extend our outreach and raising additional funds will help us further our reach into the communities where the animals are in need. There was a poem I recall reading in middle school, elementary school, and it was about a man walking down a beach and somebody was picking up a starfish and putting the starfish back in the ocean. And the man asked the, the child why he was picking up the starfish and, and what was he going to accomplish? And he said, well, I just impacted that one or I just changed the life for this, for this creature. And that 
the, the details of the poem are not still in my mind, but the impact of what that poem made on me and knowing that if I can, if I can make an impact on one animal, I'm making a difference for that animal. And so I continue doing what I do because I know that those now thousands of animals that I reach a year rather than just the one starfish is making a huge impact on animal welfare. I think why people are involved in Nika Love are for the same reasons that I'm involved. You can't turn off empathy. And when you see the suffering and you've experienced it firsthand, you, you just can't turn away. I also think the reason why people are drawn to what I do, and it's something that I'm growing into and learning to accept, is that my passion and the reasons why I do the things that I do draws other people in.